Hello, my name is Martin. Welcome to the new Weaselwood project. In today's episode, we have a bit of a customer job. Uh, long story short, my boss is going to build himself a home cinema room and he asked me to build him a counter for this room and that's what we're going to do today. Oh, um, we already finished the framework at the building site, so I have all the measurements I need and we are going to build a uh, a covering with uh, with leather or at least uh, synthetic leather that is. Uh, so we, we are going to build a support out of MDF and cover this with leather. So I already have all my materials I need and let's get started. First of all as usual is cutting time. So I started with the rough sized MDF plates and cut them to the final size. And also, as usual, I ran into the same old problem. My shop is too small for the bigger parts, so it's moving time again. Hooray! But we are making progress and that's all what counts. So the cuttings are done now, on to the next step, but first let me show you something. I found the answer. For the next step I had to change my machine over to the spindle molder function to skim a few millimeters of material off the inner surface of the support plates. Later on you will see what's the point of that. After the machine was set up and tested with a piece of scrap wood, I started with the actual parts and made the necessary cuts. Now that the parts were finished, in terms of cutting, I started with the assembly. So I marked the positions of the domino dowels and cut them with the domino jointer. First the holes in the vertical plate, laying flat on the bench. Then I set the jointer up with the angled fence and cut the holes in the horizontal plate.
A bit of glue, a handful domino dolls and a hammer. Hmm, sounds like a strange Friday evening. Anyway, some clamps later and we had a nice little L-shaped plate as support for the leather covering. I repeated those steps for the other two parts. Just a little difference, I couldn't clamp the beveled parts, so I decided to use some screws to give it the necessary force. On the biggest part of the countertop I also used some screws, just for a bit of reinforcement. That never hurts. To stretch the leather smooth around the corners, I used a neat trick. I made a 45 degrees cutout in, on the inner edge to hide the excess leather. Again, later on you'll see the point of that. Now it's time to make some round edges. I used my router with a 3mm radius cutter to deburr the edges and gave them a nice smooth finish with the sander. For the front end of the countertop I used a special trick to cover the leather around the edges. I left the corners open to hide the excess leather, otherwise it will end up with three layers of leather and this would affect the final look. Spoiler alert, in the end it will look really smooth and cool, as you can see simulated with this wipe. Well, that's it for part 1. All the woodwork is done, part 2 is all about the covering in leather. Thank you for watching, leave me some comments how you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you do like it and have a nice day.